watch that movie again. Um, Final Destination. Anyone else think of that every time they're stuck behind a truck with big pipes or steel rods or something like that? Good morning, and a good morning it is. Camping's back on, Queensland's open to Queenslanders, and being lucky we're out just short of Ch Charters Towers here. Um, I've been looking for a spot the whole way here to pull up and make a quick coffee. Everything's fenced off and whatnot, so we've just come under the bridge here some rapids and whatnot. Not that peaceful, there's cars going over the highway, but we're just gonna have a coffee and then um, keep punching into Charters Towers and then head out. There's heaps of stuff out here to look at. Uh, go find some nice remote stuff where there isn't other people around. Anyway, I'm gonna whip up a coffee. Oh, a bit fresh. Can't believe camping's back on. It's been that long, this is my first camp out of the cruiser so i've got the swag you know i've never used this swag i bought it ages ago after i lost mine on my little lost at sea adventure little schmozzle uh, so yeah i've been camping for ages don't normally play by the rules but i thought i'd do the right thing with all this covid crap so So I've just come through Charters Towers. Um, now I'm heading north on the Gregory Development Road on the way out to Greenvale. There's quite a few good sort of really good camping areas out from here. I've been out here twice to the Big Bend area if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Um, just a massive area of full driving and massive playground to go play in along the river there. Last time I was out there, it was severely washed out from the, the floods. So I'm just going to go somewhere I've never been. I've probably got about 50 odd K to go to the first spot that I'm going to look at. And if there's enough there to explore, I'll sort of spend the day playing around there. And if I get a bit bored of that, well, I'll just keep going. So yeah, I just sort of had half an hour back at that coffee spot just to let the dog out the box and have a good run around and a pee and all that so anyway next time i see you it should be off the grey stuff so talk soon i've just pulled off the the develop gregory development road this little spot called fletcher creek um sort of come down for a look a couple of people out here. A shower block there. Sharing toilets. Looks a little bit, uh, what's the word? There's some other people here. I really do want to find just some remote spot where I'm on my own. Potentially with a body of water that I can uh, practice a few fly casts in. Be good. Car out here camping.
Yeah, so this is a little spot I've come with mate Reese. Oh, probably over a year ago, I'd say. We um, scaled this river fishing and went trekking all the way up through here and um, didn't catch bugger all, to be honest. I think we ended up at a different place and I think the only thing we caught was a tilapia. <laughs> so, but anyway, they'll let the dog have another run. Um, chill out for half an hour and have another look at the map and try and find somewhere completely new. Beautiful day for it though. Absolutely magic. Anyway, I'm gonna... Uh, is that the... Oh yeah, that's that river crossing. All right, I'm gonna let me tie us down. Just gonna quickly drop the air out the tires. Um, nothing too serious. Go down to about got 26 in the front, I think, from here. It's only shallow, rocky bottom. Last time we come through this, we were nearly getting washed off the edge. It was awesome. <laughs> Truly into it now. Awesome views already. I hope I can navigate through all this and find a wicked spot to pull up. Ready hit the crossroads. Get up. Here we go, 27 point turn, come at ya. How's the view? Just popped out through the uh, scrub there. This is my first look at it. Check it out. Forbin through here and just follow the river as, as far as the day takes me. Unreal. Beautiful. What I might do is chuck a quick bit of lunch on in the oven. What I'm going to do is just throw, I've got a, a little frozen pizza here. I'm going to fire up the oven. The drone battery on charge. Um, Little McCain barbecue meat lovers. Throw one of these on. And that way, because I reckon I'm going to drive for about another half an hour or hour, just enjoying the tracks. And then when I pull up stumps, lunch will be ready. Range her up. Oh, we go 120 minutes. Nice. Journey on. Getting in the car, I've just driving past these trees here. I don't know what sort of fruit it is, but. Could be edible, I don't know. If anyone knows, tell us what it is, eh? Sort of a bit of a plantation just down this track here. One big fat fruit on it. Probably kill you in three seconds, who knows? <laughs> anyway.
Okay, is this for a spot? Yeah. Well, hey. You get over there, through here. Turn that traction control off. Jeez, that. Makes a difference. What a little crazy little corner, eh? Look at all that volcanic bloody rock and that. Bloody beautiful. This is what we're looking at here. I want to get down by the water. It's a pretty steep decline. There's a big hole here. Obviously, no worries going down. Um, just got to make sure I can get out of here. Bit of hole there. I don't think I can always fill that up with rocks or get the shovel out and bloody pack it. So that's no dramas at all, I don't think. Just a little step up, really. Um, that's what we're looking at. That's where I'm going to get. Once I get down in there, I've got a bit of freedom to travel with the river. Go have some lunch. All right. Let's give it a red old crack, eh? River. Let's get the silky saw out. Let's clear the track. Sorry, tree. Someone's going to kick up a stink about that, but it's obviously a track. First gear, low range, no brakes, that's the go. Too bloody easy. All right, we're in the sand pit now. Ew. Give it the berries. Oh, I see, I love the sand. Love the sound of it in the soft stuff. So nice. Let's find the camp. Oh, bloody seatbelt. Fucking thing. Oh, how nice is that? Running water. Wow. Got beautiful rapids running water. You can have a play with the fly rod. Um, I don't know if you can see from there. It looks amazing. I'll have the awning up, have the fire, be looking at the rapids. No one in sight. Bloody beautiful. Beautiful. Stoked. But I am going to go for a drive first. I'm going to go up the this dry bed here and see what's up just in case. But this is the spot. So far, this is the camp spot. So far.
that good, mate? Is that good? See? Well, I'll tell you what. This is what it's all about. Have a look at this. Look at the view. Look at the view, mate. Don't go in there too deep. Oh, fresh water. Just amazing, man. This is lunch for me. Unreal. Camps all the way back up the other end of the river, or that last spot I talked about. Um, just un bloody real. Wicked spot to have a little practice with the fly rod. Boggy. I wouldn't camp here, you'd be riddled with mozzies, I reckon. Yeah, good as it though. There's all this debris and that up the top here. So that's probably, that'd be 15, 16 foot from the, the water. And that's all debris washed from the floods. So that would have been just hooking through here and catching in that tree. That's how high the water was. There's even some a little bit higher. That's just unthinkable to think how much water was gushing through here. Oh, he's loving it, do Don't get too comfy in there, mate. Pretty good, pretty good. He's a bloody water rat, this thing. Oi! Pretty nice. Tell you what, this area might even be worth a bloody flick with the with the rod. Who knows? I don't know what you're catching here. I don't really care. Lunch is nearly ready. I think I'm going to sit here for an hour in the shade. Um, and then probably only a 20 minute drive back up this river in the sand there. And I might set up properly then, set up camp and hunker in. Temperature under here would probably be 23 degrees or something like that. It's just beautiful. A bit fresh tonight, which is good. Oh, I hate sleeping in the heat, absolutely hate it. So.
don't have to put all these poles out. I always just do anyway, because then I don't have to stress what's happening in the middle of the night while I'm fast asleep, etc. This thing will support itself. It's got good framework and that, but I don't know. I just chuck the poles up. They're all a part of it anyway. You don't have to get them out of separate bag, etc. Bloody stoked because I actually forgot a pillow and I tucked one up in here ages ago. A travel pillow. Stoked. last little day trip video I um, had some pretty strong well just normal bad winds and I had the one of those side walls for the awning here oh, a bunch of black coggies um, and it ripped so they said they replaced it um, and they said they've improved it the tie down points for it which is what's teared like the, the brass um, eyelets that were cut into the canvas just tore basically pretty average um, let's have a look see if they've done anything different or if it's oh yeah so they've changed it that's good that's better at least it's not brass cut into it now. Alright, let's zip her up and have a look there. Bit of an eye opener, it's going to take some getting used to. I've got a bloke that's going to give me a bit of a lesson and put me on the right path before I create any bad habits, which I'm pretty sure I just did then. At one stage, I pulled the line back and the, the, the end hit me in the face. <laughs> so I don't know how the fly was coming over way out to the right, and then one pull back, the things just smacked me right. The, clipped me on the tooth, it's pretty funny, um, yeah so it's going to be a bit of an eye opener, that's for sure, just sitting here reading, I got this, um, planning a trip, uh, mid-September, 
start of October sort of thing um, based on if the borders are open that we're going to do the Simpson Desert um, so at this stage there's definitely my car with a mate and maybe my brother and then um, meet in Birdsville with some friends from back in South Australia um, we'll sort of all get together there in Birdsville and then go east to west finish up around that Mount Dare or whatever it is Dalhousie Springs and that and then sort of cross the Fink a little bit and then up the highway and then do that Red Desert Loop where you do Uluru and Kings Canyon um, McDonald's Ranges and all them sort of things there's a bit of a loop there and we'll end up finishing in Alice and then we can sort of separate from there sort of I'll head back back to Townsville and they'll go back down to Adelaide there but um, yeah really looking forward to that but the red desert thing might be a bit iffy I'm not too sure with all this COVID-19 stuff and I've got a feeling the borders will be open but whether the Aboriginal land sort of parks and stuff like that are open so I'm not so sure but so yeah and then the near future um, me and a mate he's sort of been searching Google Earth a fair bit and found a really good spot where the, the continental shelf um, and the outer Great Barrier Reef's quite close to the land um, it's a full day's drive probably like a 14 hour drive um, sort of up towards the tip it's def it's not the I'm not really going to say exactly where we're going fishing but it's not the very top, sort of in between there and Cooktown, you'd say. So yeah, that probably be a five day trip, I'm guessing. Full day up there, set up base camps. We have to load the boat up, which isn't too bad, but we have to take a lot of fuel because it's a Aboriginal land and there's no, um, no servo to pop back into. It'll be camping like this, just out bush for five, four nights. So we'll have a lot of jerrys of fuel and that for the boat. So really looking forward to that trip. That should be, um, if it's as good as it looks, I reckon we'll slay some pretty mean reef species and that. And to get my little four and a half metre tinny to say that's been out the shelf would be pretty cool. So I'm looking to upgrade the boat. It's a bit small. I sort of bought it, not really knowing what I was going to get into. I thought I was going to do more creek fishing and that, but I just love the blue water. I love the reef. Um, I love all the islands, and it's just a, it's just a good vibe. So I'm looking at something around the six meter mark, six two, six three. Just a complete clean boat, no t top, none of that. Like a rear center console style one, and just huge cast deck. But a plate boat, you know, something hardy and good riding, big fuel tank. I think the one I was, a couple I've been looking at around the 230, 240 capacity. And then you've got, you can carry a lot more too. So if you were doing some wicked remote sort of stuff, you can load the boat up with jerrys and stuff too if you're doing any island camping. So that's what I need. I'm sort of very limited. I, I want to do a lot of big trips and stuff, but. Uh, my little four and a half metre tinny's just not cut the cake. Getting bashed up, I'm too sore. It's just, it's it's an estuary boat, you know, like it, it handles it well with the collars and that, but it's, um, you know, at the end of the day, I feel safe in it. Definitely feel safe in it. Yeah, just after something a bit more room and a bit more comfort, but yeah. Bloody good book, because I went into, this is that great desert track. It's got all of them in Australia. Amberdale Highway, Binge Track, Birdsville, Canning Stock Route. That's one I really want to do is the Canning Stock Route. But I thought I'll start with a bit simpler one. Um, I think you'd organise fuel drop and all everything for that. So, And I went in there just to get that Simpson Desert one. I think it was 25 bucks just for the one map of it. Like, it was very detailed and that. But this was, I think this was 70 bucks. But it's got all the maps, all the camps of every bloody desert track in Australia so a bit of money at the time but it'll it'll pay for itself and that's us got nachos for dinner tonight I'm gonna do them in the little road chef 12 volt oven cook some mince up first and put it with some um, 
taco spice etc and throw her all in an alfalfa dish and bang her in there easy one got some sour cream avocado and then that's me just chilling out get the fire going after it's all good it's all good it's good to be actually going somewhere and having a camp for a change it's been a few months so anyway enough talking crap I'll see you when something else pops up Like I said, we're doing nachos. Just got some mincy. Need to cook that first with a bit of nacho spice mix. And then I'll put the corn chips in and the sauce and cheese and this and the old CCs. Some nacho salsa sauce. Up and the order. smoked sausages and some dog biscuits. We're going 
kind of hoe down, have a couple more bevies, and relax. I'm gonna put the cameras away now, I'm done, I'm done. Chill out time, crank some tunes, have a good time, get the sack. See you in the morning. Ew. Morning. Had a bloody awesome sleep. Really nice. All the fog and that here on the river this morning was beautiful. Still out there now, actually, but yeah. We were sleeping. Woke up earlier, but just couldn't be bothered getting up. No need to. Not in any rush this morning. Got stuff to make brekkie and... Um, whip up coffee soon. And that's about it. Good night last night by the fire. Ugh. Heaps of firewood around, heaps of it. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, yeah, the solar's pumping into the battery system. It's higher than it was last night, so it's good. Ugh. That's about it. Nice day, nice day. Mm. Yeah, it's a bit of brekkie, coffee, relax for an hour or two, and then probably got about an hour drive out of here, mm. hour and a half drive out of full driving, and then about the same down the highway back to Townsville. Bloody beautiful, mate. Bloody beautiful. Give her a go with the diff locks on, see if that makes a difference. Oh 
my god, what a difference the rear diff lock made. That's incredible. Well, that's my first time ever using diff locks. So this is the hole I got stuck in the first time coming up. A couple feet deep. Rear diff lock in and no dramas. Nothing, nothing on camera. Looks like it does here in real life. Yeah, just in here. A slippery rock up the other end. I don't know which one to take. Friggin' awesome man, that diff lock. Jeez, it makes a difference. Couple little fun heels. Just gotta find my way back home now. It's a massive playground out here. Definitely be coming back. Thanks for all your support. Cheers for the likes and the comments and the constructive criticism and the tips and um, yeah, I really enjoy. I don't claim to be um, you know full bottle on all this stuff, so it's really good. One guy, if you, I, I can't remember who it was, but um, he sort of mentioned with locking your hubs in, he's like, the auto hubs are good for um, just them little things, you know, where you're only gonna be in full drive for a bit. But um, he said it doesn't do the, it doesn't do it any good for long periods. He said, get out and, and lock it off manually, which is a great tip. I don't wanna do any damage or anything like that, so. I don't know where I'm going. That way I'll go down. Yeah, so thanks mate, whoever you were. Um, appreciate all that sort of stuff, eh? I don't look at it as if like, it, criticism or anything like that. I, I quite enjoy all the handy tips and that, so. Um, but that's it, I just haven't worked up an appetite to cook breakfast yet. watching guys just aired up all the tires put her out of 4B unlock the hubs this is why I like having the dog box he always goes swimming right when you're about to look at the car he loves swimming absolutely loves it but cheers heaps of sport I've really enjoyed this one epic little flavor through here definitely be back had a good time clicking at using the diff locks having to play around with them more so the rear didn't really engage the front but geez it makes a big difference 
a lot the old Hilux. He used to just, everything was about momentum. Hit things twice as fast as you should be and you might get up. <laughs> I could crawl up in that thing, so it's pretty fun. Um, yeah, don't know what the next bit will be. Fishing, camping, or driving, something along them lines. Anyway, thanks for your support. If you like the video, give us a like. I think it helps a lot. Um, give us some of that good constructive criticism. All right, legends, cheers. Have a good one. I'm here. Yoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Just so you know, I am lost. <laughs> I don't think this is the way, apparently. No, apparently not. Okay. I'm gonna have to reverse it and be. Up and down, up and down. Up and down, up and down. <sighs> Woo! Movie. No, it's done, but it's done. Over and out. Roger, 10 points.